Crafters, I'm Lisa Fulmer and this week my spin on the soup to nuts theme was to make this adorable little ornament. It's good all year round and I thought of as many different things that I could possibly stud it with. So it's got different kinds of brads and different kinds of straight pins and jewelry findings with seed beads. It's filled with all different stuff and uh, it's just adorable and it will hang beautifully in a bathroom or a kitchen. So let me show you how I made it. We're starting with one of these smooth foam balls. It's got a really nice smooth surface. You can get it in the floral department of your craft store. And at the bottom it has a nice large hole that you can put a Q-tip inside and give yourself a handle to hold the ball while you paint it. We really only need one coat because we're going to be putting all kinds of nifty goo gaws on top of this. So one coat should be just enough. While the paint is still wet, we're going to sprinkle it with glitter. I'm using a clear glitter on this purple paint and it's going to be really lovely. You know, ornaments do not have to be just for Christmas. They look really pretty hanging from a little cup hook under a shelf in the kitchen or the bathroom or near your computer. Um, they're good all year round. We've got some gold uh, ball tip straight pins. We have some adorable little eye pins from, you know, jewelry findings with little seed beads on them. We have a lovely selection of mini brads and a lovely selection of medium sized brads with all kinds of different shapes and colors. And we're just going to very carefully, because some brads, the prongs are a little bit flimsy, but we're just going to very carefully poke them in. So I think I'll stop right here. I really like how I've got all of the brads and pins dispersed, but you could, if you wanted to, keep filling in and uh, just make it as dense as you like. Um, going back up to the top, we're going to create a hanger now. So this large hole is a little too wide to stick jewelry findings in, so we're going to um, narrow it up a little bit. We're going to drop a little bit of tacky glue right down inside there, and we're going to take a um, long skinny trumpet bead and just sink it right down in there. So next we're taking a long eye pin, adding a seed bead and a large flat decorative bead at the top. We're going to run just a little bit of glue along the edge of the um, eye pin. And then we're going to drop it right in that trumpet bead and then push it down into the foam. For the decorative bead at the bottom, we're going to take a long head pin, add a couple of beads to it, alternate some smaller beads with some larger decorative beads, and we're going to do the same thing. Add a little tacky glue just to secure it because this one has gravity working against it since it's at the bottom and these beads are a little heavier. So we'll secure that with a little bit of glue and sink it right up in through the bottom of the ball. And lastly, we're going to take a lovely piece of thin ribbon. We're going to cut it at a very sharp angle to get a nice point. We're going to insert that through the eye of the pin at the top and tie a knot and you are done. So am I right? Ornaments don't have to be just for Christmas. They're beautiful in sparkly purple or whatever colors you like. So have fun and I will look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Lisa Fulmer and you know I think it's cool to craft.